What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mel DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to get my favorite plays for today. We got a 10 game main slate for Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a great day. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon to always stay notified for new videos. Let's get into these plays. Y'all going to the first pick, going to our point guards. We'll be looking at LaMelo Ball at 8,100 on DraftKings. Love the FanDuel price at 7,600 going against the Pacers. And where he has averaged 56.7 fans points in the past three games versus the Pacers this season. Averaging 40.1 fans points in the past five games, 18.7.4 assists a game, and the pace will allow average 35.5 fans points to the starting point guards. I'd like this play for Lamella Ball at point guard position. Another play to consider for value will be Patty Mills at 4,900 on DraftKings, 52 on Fanduel going against Denver. He's also in an uptrend matchup. He had 29, 19, 28, 21. I think he's going to have a bounce back game in this play without Kyrie and KD. He's averaging 23.4 fans points in the past five. But Denver allows the average 40 fans points to the starting point guards. I like this play for Patty Mills for today. Let's go to our next play, going to our shooting guards. Shooting guard play, I do like Terry Rozier at 7,900 on DraftKings. He is priced up at 8K on FanDuel going against the Pacers. He's also did well. 59 fans point game last go around. He's averaging 41.5 fans points in the past five away games as Indiana allows average 33.7 fans points to the starting shooting guards. We need to check the stats with Hayward, but McDaniels is out for today. But like Terry Rozier. All right, let's go to our next play where I like Kevin Herter at 4,700 on DraftKings. He has 54 on FanDuel. Sacramento allows an average 30 fans points to the starting forward position. He is averaging 26.4 fans points in the past five games, but he's also in an uptrend matchup. He had 24, 35, 23, 32, 19. So hopefully give you that 25 plus in this matchup at a great price tag on both platforms. Let's go to our next play, going to our small forwards. We do have Dorian Finney-Smith. like the price tag of 4,400 on DraftKings, 43 on FanDuel. It is a back-to-back, -back, but he did have a bounce-back game. He had 36, 23 against Portland. 27.6 fans points to the start in small forward position. I do like this play for Dorian Finney-Smith for value at this play for today. Of course, you still have Cameron Johnson in play. Aiden McGee, Crowder, Payne is still out. So 4,300 for Cameron Johnson at 4,300 on DraftKings. Still is intriguing. Even 5K on Fandle. He did have a 35 face point last go around with 38 minutes on the court. So like Cameron Johnson as well. Let's go to our next play. Going to our power forward. Chris Porzingis at 7,600 on DraftKings. 82 on Fandle. But like the DraftKings price tag, he is averaging... 33.6 fans points in the past five games. Averaging 14 points, 8.2 rebounds a game as Portland allows an average 35.5 fans points to the starting power forward spot. He did have a, a 62 fans point game last game, but that was with Lucas out. But I still see him giving you a 35 plus in his matchup. To our next play where we have Jaron Jackson Jr. at 6,600 on DraftKings. He is priced up on FanDuel at 7,800. But going against San Antonio, he had a 41 fans point game last go around against them in December as they allow an average 34 fans points to the power forward position. He is averaging 42.1 fans points in the past five away games. Do like this play for Jaron Jackson Jr. We need the news for Bain if he's out, but we have Brooks and Anderson is out for today. I like this play for Jaron Jackson at power forward. Let's go to our last play, going to our centers. Clint Capella at 7,100 on DraftKings, 77 on FanDuel. I like the price point here against Sacramento as they allow average 35.7 fans points to the starting centers. He is averaging 46.3 fans points against them in the past three games. Ken Capella is in play on both platforms for today. Going for a saving spot. Bismack Biombo at 5,500 on DraftKings. He is priced up on Fandle at 6,300. It's hard not to play this spot. A bumping usage without Aiden and McGee. Utah is allowing average 32 fans points to start in centers. And also without Gobert. Should help in his favor in the front court. So Bismack Biombo should dominate. Give you 10 plus rebounds in this spot for today. This is my favorite play. If you like the plays, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comment below. Using Draft Dashboard tools in link in my description. Want to sign up? It is a dollar up to 30 days. When you sign up, get access to the NBA cheat sheet, sleeper single studs. Click on the watch players, get access to my plays up top for watch Mel DFS picks. Be the DraftKings or a fan duel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Mel DFS and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.